All right, hey guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack. Uh, tonight, I was sitting around doing a few things, uploading some stuff, and uh, I found right across a tool that I thought I might could add, add to y'all's uh, collection, uh, especially for the guys that are new to uh, laser engraving or, or considering doing laser engraving. Uh, one of the biggest obstacles that I had to overcome when I started on tumblers and other pieces was when you have a, a, a piece that you're engraving on or cutting from if you're trying to cut a hole in a particular location or whatnot and the workpiece is substantially larger than the file that you're trying to burn you, you want to make sure it's centered and framing will, will show you where the image is going to be but it won't necessarily tell you is this image in the middle of my workpiece and so I found myself doing a lot of running back and forth with rulers trying to make sure everything was right it was kind of nerve-wracking uh, took a long time typically it would take me longer to measure and frame, measure and frame, measure and frame, than it did to actually burn the file. So after a short period of time, I had an idea that what I needed was a custom ruler, not your typical rulers. Uh, you know, we all got those. You got you know, rulers that you get that are clear. You got rulers that are steel. I mean, there's all different kind of varieties, but those guys are 5 or $10 a piece. So what I developed is a laser uh, printed uh, user creatable ruler that is set up specifically for centering your uh, laser on your workpiece. And this is what I come up with. Uh, this is basically a piece of my stock that I use. It's a piece of quarter inch Luan that I had, it was actually scrap left over from a burn I did. And if you'll notice in the center of this thing, the center of it is at 185 millimeters. Uh, to the right and to the left, it goes downward in increments of five millimeters until zero and also put a nifty little hole on it right there so it hangs on a nail in my workstation here and stays out of the way doesn't get broken doesn't get lost uh, and if you'll stick around for a few minutes I'll show you how to use this tool and I promise you especially if you're you know new at this and you're just getting started it's gonna make life a lot easier when you start trying to center things on a workpiece uh, whether it's a round workpiece or a square workpiece you know, you may need one of these, you may need two of them to do it your way. You, you might find a way that, you know, a method that works better for you. So stick around for a minute and I'll show you the method that I use and it's worked for me for several months now. All right guys, here we are. Uh, this is my X-Tool D1 and no, I do not use an enclosure. This is my vacuum table and if you're curious about my vacuum table or have any questions, feel free to message me and uh, I've got a short video out there about that. But if, if anybody's interested, I can do a, a longer video and go into it a little more depth in depth. But this is the uh, the measuring, the centering uh, stick that I was referring to. And the way this works, when you've got a work area that is larger than what you're engraving, framing around the edges is really not an option unless your image is exactly the same size as your, as, as your, your piece. So that was the problem I was having, was having to measure with a ruler, measure with a ruler to try to get things centered. Now, in this example, all I'm going to do is show you how to get your left to right centered using this tool and like I said same thing applies if, if you're going from top to bottom but we're just going to do it as left to right so what I've done is I've placed my my centering ruler up here and as you can see if I place it with 60 on each side that determines that 185 is going to be your center so that is the center of this workpiece is right there so even if you only wanted to know where the center of the workpiece is we just did that without a whole lot of calculations and with a whole lot of measuring going on so we got 60 and 60 that's equal on both sides 185 is in the center so there's your center right there right in the middle the only thing that i wish i had probably done and i didn't do it because i was afraid it would be too busy was maybe put me a little arrow in there but that 185 is set off by itself so that should be obvious that that's the center <clears throat> now when you hit your framing to do your framing the laser moves over comes back up moves over the way that I've got it set with it right up against the edge of my laser, what that does is that allows that laser to kind of shine on the edge of my, my ruler here. And you can see that that thing is touching the ruler at about 135, you know, 136. So we're going to call that 136. It's on just on the inside of 135. And then as I frame, when it comes over and comes down, you, I, I'm hoping you can see that. That was at uh, about 136 as well. Now, if you're having trouble with framing, one of my recommendations for you, especially if you're using a ruler setup like this, is to slow the frame speed down. Uh, mine was much faster when I got my machine 
but I noticed that my eyes, being they're not as young as they used to be, I was having a hard time focusing on that laser as it as it framed. So I slowed that speed down until I got to a speed that's comfortable for me, and I could actually make out where that thing was crossing my ruler at, and made it a little bit easier. So that's uh, call that the tip of the day. Is if you're having trouble framing and because you can't see your measurements, slow your framing speed down. There's a setting in there you can slow that down, and you can make it go as slow or as fast as you want. Uh, I don't want mine going too slow because this, you know, you, you don't want to spend all day framing. But I want it to go slow enough to where I can tell what it's doing. So if you're interested in the item, like I said, check out my uh, Etsy store at Clack Custom Creations. And uh, if not, maybe you can just build your own. It, it'll take a little time, but you can do that as well. Save yourself a dollar. So have a good day.